Hi boys and girls, Miss Bishop again. Tonight I'm going to read What If You Had Animal Eyes. Gabe and Addie picked this out. And I have hot cocoa tonight because it's so cold. Okay, this book is by Sandra Markle, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. And I believe she's got chameleon eyes on the cover. Wouldn't it be crazy if we had those eyes? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Addie. Hello, I'm Mrs. Kitty. Okay. And the dedication for Nancy Vandenberg and the children of Dr. E.T. Boone Elementary School, Allen, Texas. What if one day when you woke up, the eyes on your face weren't yours? What if overnight a wild animal eyes, animal's eyes took their place? Chameleon. We were right. A chameleon's eyes stick out like twin telescopes. These cone-shaped bumps are actually fused together eyelids that are open just enough to peek through. This limits the chameleon's view, but these eyes can do something tricky. Each eye moves separately. That way the chameleon can look for prey such as crickets in two directions at once. Fact. When a chameleon spots prey, it focuses both eyes on it. That way it doesn't miss catching a meal. And Miss Bishop used to have a pet chameleon in her classroom. And there she is, the little girl with chameleon eyes. And it says, if you had chameleon eyes, you could look around the toy store fast to find exactly what you want. Next one, golden eagle. A golden eagle has laser sharp vision. This bird can see up to eight times better than most people. It can also spot its prey up to two miles away. In a flash, the golden eagle can shift its eyes from focusing on something far away to something up close. This is perfect for keeping an eagle eye on and catching a fast hopping rabbit. Fact, a golden eagle's eyes have a third eyelid that sweeps across the eyes like windshield wipers, keeping them clean. Interesting. And this girl, ooh, has eagle eyes. She's at a ball game. And it says, if you had golden eagle eyes, you could sit up high in the stadium and still see the football game. Dragonfly. A dragonfly's eyes are huge. They have to be because each dragonfly eye has up to 300 or 310 million tiny lenses. A human eye has only one. Scientists aren't sure how a dragonfly's brain creates images from all of those lenses, but they do believe having so many lenses lets the dragonfly spot movement fast. That's how a dragonfly can see a flying mosquito in time enough to catch it. Fact. A dragonfly has three small extra eyes that help guide its flight path by sensing bright light and shadows. Interesting. And here is a boy with dragonfly eyes at a zoo. And he's taking notes and it says, if you had dragonfly eyes, you could be a star reporter because you would never miss any of the action. Looks like there's a lot of action going on there. Clouded leopard. A clouded leopard's eyes have a special mirror-like layer at the back. This layer reflects light back through the retina, the part of the eye packed with light-sensing cells. This helps the clouded leopard see well in the dim light at nighttime. That mirror-like layer is also what makes the clouded leopard's eyes seem to glow. Fact. The clouded leopard has slit-shaped pupils, openings where the light enters the eye. These can expand about a hundred times to let more light in. A human's round pupils, those are the black ones, only expand about ten times. And this is a girl with leopard, clouded leopard eyes. And it says, if you had clouded leopard eyes, you'd never be surprised in a dark haunted house. See, everybody else is scared. But look, she's not scared. Bullfrog. A bullfrog's eyes are on top of his head, 
So the bullfrog can hide underwater and still watch out for enemies. Its eyes are also wide apart. That way a bullfrog can see nearly all the way around itself without turning its head. But these eyes help a bullfrog to do more than just to see. When a bullfrog swallows, it closes its big eyes. Its eyes sink down through the openings in its skull and help push meals down in its throat. Well, that's interesting. Fact. A bullfrog's eyes each have a third see-through eyelid. When a bullfrog dives underwater, these eyelids slide over its eyes, the perfect built-in swim goggles. Hmm. <laughs> a little boy. And it says, if you had bullfrog eyes, a blink would let you swallow a big bite. Four-eyed fish. Oh, my. Look at that. Excuse me, Addy. A four-eyed fish really has only two eyes, but each eye has two different parts. Each of these four eye parts has its own pupil. This fish keeps half of each eye underwater, looking for insects and smaller fish to it eats. It keeps the other half of each eye above the water, watching for birds and other predators that are after a fish dinner. Fact. Four-eyed fish usually travel in groups called schools. So there are always lots of eyes watching in every direction. And here's the girl with the four-eyed fish eyes, <laughs> reading a book and riding a bike. And it said, if you, have, if you had four-eyed fish eyes, you could read while riding your bike and never take your eyes off the road. Yellow mongoose. A yellow mongoose's eyes have rectangular pupils. These give a very wide view of its world. That means the mongoose can easily spot insects and lizards to catch and eat. It also keeps watch for hunters, such as jackals, sneaking up from the Hello. far left or right. When there is danger, its special eyes also help it spot escape routes. The yellow Hello, mongoose you guys. is mainly active during the daytime when it can see best. We see you, Eddie. Do you have mongoose eyes? In fact, Hola. to see farther and peek over bushes, the yellow mongoose stands up tall on its hind feet. And this little boy, they almost remind me of sheep eyes. His mongoose eyes there. It says, if you had yellow mongoose eyes, you would always win at laser tag. Desert Horned Viper. A desert horned viper's eyes have clear eyelids that do not open or close. This means this snake can't blink to clean its eyes, but it doesn't need to. Its eyelids work like safety goggles. Because it lives in hot deserts, the viper usually waits until it's cooler at night to go hunting. Then the snake slit shaped pupils open wide so it can find a mouse or a lizard for dinner. Wow, look at its little horns. And little long eyelashes, huh? Fact. Each time a desert horned viper sheds its scaly skin for a new one, it gets new clear eyelids too. Interesting. Here's the boy with the desert horned viper eyes. Hola! Patty. <laughs> and it says, if you had horned viper eyes, you wouldn't need safety goggles to do science experiments. Because you'd get new eyes every day. Tarsier. I think it's a French um, pronunciation or tarsier. The tarsier's eyes are a huge part of its little body. Oh, it's so cute. Its giant eyes and large pupils are perfect for hunting tiny insects during dark nights. A tarsier, tarsier can't move its eyes because of how its skull bones support them. Luckily, it can turn its head far enough around to look over its shoulder and see what's behind it. That's why it can keep an eye out for predators, such as wild cats and large snakes. Fact. Each of the tarsier's giant eyes weighs more than its brain. Huh. Hola. Daddy. And this girl has tarsier's eyes. Says if you had tarsier eyes, you could easily watch for base stealers in time to throw them out. Wild animal eyes could be fun for a while, 
but you don't you don't need your eyes to light the way or look in two directions at once and you never use your eyes to spot something two miles away or to help you swallow dinner so if you could keep wild animal eyes for more than a day which kind would be right for you hmm I don't know what I would choose luckily you don't have to choose your eyes will always be human people eyes They'll be what you need to read books, check out the stars at night, and see the people you love all of the time. And then they have some facts on what's special about our eyes. I love this. It's very sciencey. And how to keep your eyes healthy. Always wear sunglasses outside, even in the winter. Get your eyes checked regularly. And wear glasses if you're supposed to. And there's other books in this series, which I will read too. We have all of these. What if you had animal teeth, hair, feet, ears, and noses? All right, boys and girls, have a great rest of your Friday. This Bishop loves